today we'll get the Hack RF outside by checking out the Porta Pack unit and aluminum case. So the Hack RF software defined radio is a pretty magical device, really useful, but to get it outside and get it portable, well, we need one of these. This is the Porta Pack and case system that I got. You can buy these a lot of different sources on AliExpress or Banggood or Gearbest, whatever you like. I'll link down below where I got mine. It arrived uh, thankfully damage free, but the packaging was not good. It was beat to heck and I actually expected this unit to be damaged. Thankfully it wasn't. The case did have a small bend in one of the aluminum plates that I had to bend back. But other than that, no problems. Mine is a clone Hack RF one and this is the case that it was originally in. We'll go ahead and get it out of there and get it slipped into its new duds. If you've used Arduinos or Raspberry Pis at all, you'll be pretty familiar with this. It's just like a shield or a hat system. We just have to remove the existing oscillator, the existing external one. We can't use that anymore, but there is one on the new Porta Pack unit. So we go ahead and plug it into the headers. Pretty straightforward, nothing to it. Just take your time and line up the pins. Make sure triple check they're lined up. You may end up uh, in shipping. There might have been bent. You don't want to make anything any worse or crack any solder joints on the board. A lot of these would be pretty difficult to fix without a microscope. Mine went together, no problem. Bunch of screws to hold everything together. It's handy to have one of these electric screwdrivers for jobs like this. I'm getting more fond of this wow stick by the day. I think I might actually invest in the, the newer versions, which I think have a little bit more torque, but yeah, put everything together, no problem. This episode brought to you in part by PCBWay. Check them out at the link below for your next electronics project. They offer competitive rates for all PCBs, parts and assembly as well as 24-7 tracking of your order from start to finish. The fit and finish on my unit was actually really, really good. I'm really happy with how well things fit together. Uh, no complaints at all. Everything lined up perfectly other than where that small bend in the aluminum plate that I had to fix. But once I did that, no issues. The hardware is even good quality. The screws that are provided, the machine screws are, are good ones. You can tell because they don't strip out immediately. They just feel good. The, the screwdriver seats in them well. So overall, really good kit. This is what I do with all my, my goodies when I have leftover parts. I label them in these little dollar store plastic bags and put them away in one of my uh, clear totes that also come from dollar store. And I have one for all my software defined radio stuff. You never know when I'm going to need this again. Now we need to flash some firmware. This is the base HackRF firmware. There's nothing to it. Go to the GitHub repository, download it, install it, flash it. The only gotcha may be the USB drivers. I have these on my PC because I do a ton with uh, my RC stuff and my Arduino stuff has the CH340 and different Scilabs drivers and whatnot. But there's a really good instruction built right into their GitHub on any issues you may run into. Once installed, it just go ahead and fire up the software. It asks you to plug in the HackRF, which I did, and immediately it recognized it, programs it in just a few seconds, and it is done. It's truly pretty painless experience. I'm really happy with how they did their software. Pretty impressive. Then all there is to it is feed the port pack power and we have our standalone software defined radio. You'll have to go through, it's beyond the scope of this video to check out all the different menu items. But having things visible on a waterfall and just being able to work with it is pretty darn cool. Being able to dial in the frequency, pretty neat. I started noticing right away there are some limitations to the stock firmware, a lot of limitations, and we're going to fix that up in the next video. We're going to try a different firmware called the Mayhem firmware, which has a lot more functionality. But for the basics, for someone to get up and running quickly, the, the base firmware works good. Flashes quick, the waterfall works. You can see here the different frequencies coming alive on the waterfall. Uh, you need to change the, the step size and, and the bandwidth shown to suit whatever you're working with. 
There is RF output on the phone jack at the bottom. This is a, just a standard uh, 3.5 millimeter, I believe, headphone jack. Uh, works great. You can listen to FM radio or listen to different, say, FM broadcasts like police, fire, or ambulance. Pretty neat. The circular dial and push button system on the front is not something that I'm used to using, so I'm still still getting uh, getting my head around it. But it does work really well. Um, the The scroll wheel is really good for quickly panning up and down frequencies. But I just wish the waterfall had a little bit more detail, a little bit more granularity. The the contrast and span you can't adjust quite as good as SDR Sharp. You definitely want to use a stylus for the touch screen for the button entry. Um, your finger, at least mine, is a, a little bit on the large side for activating the buttons and a stylus just works a lot better. But in the dark here, you can see the the, the colors are a lot, lot better, a lot more vivid. It, it does work really, really well. This is kind of a game changer for the Hack RF. It now opens up the possibility for it to be handheld portable for a lot of use cases. Cases. Pretty neat. On mine, I found the touch screen to be responsive and super accurate, super easy to activate. It is a resistive touch screen, and in my experience, they tend to not be the greatest. These are actually really, really good. I'm highly impressed. This is totally usable in the field, even if you don't have a stylus. Pretty cool. And of course, we want to take this outside. This is the whole point of having it portable. And even with the stock firmware, heck, here we are tuned into my local FM radio station. It does work perfectly for this. It's a very expensive FM radio, but an FM radio nonetheless. Pretty cool. I'm super happy with the purchase and I can't wait to get the Mayhem firmware on there in the next video and show you guys what this thing can really do. Yeah, it's being actively developed, the new firmwares, and more functionality is coming online by the day. We'll, we'll be able to do a lot of cool stuff with this in the future. I love getting back to software-defined radio, showing you guys some of the some of my roots, so to speak, so to speak on this channel. Uh, check out my playlist on Radio and RF. I'll link it down below. And good luck in all your projects. Thanks to my Patreon supporters. You guys are amazing. Good luck in all your projects. <laughs>